So, uh, this is yet another quick and low effort video here because uh, I just want to make a quick comment to uh, Linus Tech Tips, DistroTube, and a few others that have complained about the uh, Linux reboots uh, on updates. Uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, Linux does not actually force you to reboot your computer when you call an update. What they're actually updating with is the GNOME tool stack. And it's the GNOME software center that that requests that you update your computer offline. And there's a very good reasoning behind this. Because, as we all know, when we use our computer on the daily system, it will actually load a toolkit, a kernel, and several modules into the computer's running memory. Now, when you update or when you open an application, you, it will check in several different places to get this application to run and drawn correctly on top of your uh, display server's root window if you're using Xorg or your compositor. What this does is, let's just say for an instance we're opening up, say, your file manager. And you're using a file manager that uses the GTK toolkit, QT, it doesn't matter in this sense. But let's just say that it loads GTK. So... When, you're fi when you load your file manager, the very first thing your window manager is going to do is it's going to ping the, the uh, GTK tool set. It goes like, hey, I'm going to be drawing something here. Can we, can we uh, pull up a library to uh, draw a window? And GTK will go, yeah, yeah, okay, here you go. And then uh, it'll, it'll begin to draw the window. And then some several steps of magic later, you have a file manager. Now... A lot of distributions like to really, really speed this process up by running everything as a daemon. Uh, you'll notice this specifically in like Thunar. Uh, Thunar loads really, really quick the second and third time, but not always the first time. And the reason why is because Thunar is running now in your background memory. So, let's just say that you have a Thunar window open right now, and you run a software update using your terminal. We all know that if you update using your terminal, you, you're not going to be required to update, right? Well, let's just say that for some reason, the XFC project suddenly decided that, hey, we're going to start updating our tools at a more aggressive pace. And Thunar now has a GTK4 update. What happens if you open Thunar again? Well, most likely what's going to happen, and this is because somebody was smart in their uh, development pipeline... Thunar opens, but it's not the GTK for Thunar. It's just Thunar. Now, what if we open up, say, Nautilus while we're running Thunar? What's going to happen then? Well, Nautilus is going to summon up GTK4, and GTK4 and GTK3 are not compatible with each other because when GTK4 boots up, you go like, hey, what are you doing here? You're an old process. Get out of my way. What happens to Thunar? Oh, I think it's pretty obvious. Thunar crashes. The same thing happens with your Linux kernel, which is why it, and uh, several other tool chain effects. And it's because of how software starts using Linux. They and uh, the OpenSUSE live patching thing, or uh, same thing with like a Canonicals uh, live patching thing. Those actually work around it because they clear the memory out and they restart things. Not every dis software distribution does that. And uh, the main reason why uh, Manharo forces Linus Sebastian to reboot the computer when he updates it using the GUI is because he's using the GUI. And uh, the GUI will always has a force check in Paymac. You go like, hey, request user updates computer. It's really that simple. Same thing with GNOME software. GNOME software will, will force you to uh, down, will download the updates. And on Fedora specifically, it will tell DNF, the package manager, go like, hey, apply these updates the next time the computer boots up. And then it's just going to call system CTL reboot. That's why GNOME software reboots the computer, and uh, why and uh, 
Ubuntu Software Center is more or less a fork of the GNOME Software Center. I mean, it might not be exactly. I'm not a canonical developer, and I'm not really a developer in general. So I'm just uh, mentioning this here. <laughs> and uh, I might be wrong on that statement alone, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct on uh, why uh, these computers are forcing you to reboot when you update them. And uh, some distros are going to enforce automatic updates, uh, like Linux Mint. And uh, if they don't want people complaining about forced computer reboots, that's something that they might need to uh, start investigating. Anyways, yes, you probably should reboot your computer after you run, run a big update, like, say, updating your kernel or updating your your system toolkit libraries like Qt or GTK or even the Enlightenment toolkit, which will be growing in popularity now that Solus is planning to switch to it. Anyways, that's a quick ranty video. See you guys.